for the first time in a decade, exploitation, whether application or endpoint exploitation, overtook phishing as the primary initial access mechanism for threat actors. That's a big deal because we've always think like, oh, end users are the problem. If only they wouldn't click on the fish. It's like, no, end users are not the biggest problem. And there's a lot to be said for that line of argument outside of that. But anyway, um, the, the problem is insecure software, insecure devices. And whether we're talking about your high-end threat actors like your Volt Typhoons and Sandworms that are doing secret squirrely nation state stuff to try to disrupt the you know, OT operations, or eventually uh, disrupt OT operations, or you know, pick a number of ransomware providers. They are identifying many times as true zero days, developing exploits and leveraging these uh, vulnerabilities in your VPN gateway, in your firewall, in you know other sorts of items that are presumably there to secure your network, uh, to break into it, to harvest credentials, to move laterally, and then do bad things as a result. So. Just even identifying those trends is critical to inform things like software lifecycle management, appliance management, patching life cycles and similar, attack surface management and exposure. And yes. if I'm exposing things, whether it's something that's just single factor authentication that can be brute forced or heaven forbid, it is a HMI panel that is internet accessible or something, someone's gonna find it. That's the best case scenario because the worst case scenario is that someone's going to start clicking buttons and do something really nasty. Should it be? And if it is, how do I lock that down is pretty critical, whether it's I'm worried about the PRC or worried about the latest ransomware variant that happens to be out there right now.